nobody talked about it. Today, the interest rate is so high, it's discouraging uh, people who are investing. You cannot even borrow money from the banks and hope to pay back. And that's why you have a lot of default ratio. People are defaulting, not because they want to default, but because you borrow at 25%, you have all kinds of challenges around the economy. The ease of doing business is, is not there. So you borrow at that rate, you either have to sell off all the equipment and machinery and sell your workers to be able to pay back. Nobody says, how can we bring it down? So the disharmony between monetary policy and fiscal policy continues, as you saw in the last uh, monetary policy committee committee, where they took out and to lambast the fiscal authorities, that uh, their failure to provide a robust response to monetary policy is the greatest harm that is facilitating the economy sinking deeper into recession and depression. And today they are meeting again, and so people keep asking what do they discuss in that monetary policy committee, which they don't preview in expanded economic management team, because we have expected that monetary policy will be there, fiscal policy will be there, industrial policy will be there, trade policy will be there, and then under the leadership of the vice president, they will have harmonized all because they are working for one economy. It is not different economies. Going further, we also talked about lending to the private sector and how, although it grew, also the lending to the government grew. So the issue of crowding out of the private sector may be real, although we now want to begin to borrow from external sources. These are some of the issues that they should have talked about in terms of how do this model fit into what we are going to do. 